But now we're at the wonderful moment where we are going to do a cultural break. And we have the wonderful Eric Allen Yankee, who happens to me one of my favorite contemporary poems, po poets, pardon me, poem. Hey, yeah, Eric, you're a poem. <laughs> no, contemporary poets and also a phenomenal political poet. So go ahead, Eric, take it away. Oh, thank you. And thank you, everyone who's spoken so far. I'm just, uh, you know, overall so worried that ballots will get elected and it will all turn to hell even more than it is now. Um, but one thing that I will shout, you know, from the rooftops, as long as this election is going on, try to get people to know that Paul Dallas's son, Gus, was involved in a police killing uh, in 2022. He was one of three officers who murdered um, Kevin Donald Johnson Jr. And um, that's what this poem is about. It's called Return to Full Duty uh, for worthless officer Gus Ballas and his worthless father, Paul. Officer Ballas was found not to have violated policy and returned to full duty. But before that, he and two of his blue brothers murdered a man who was running away. Kevin Donald Johnson Jr. was wanted for breaking parole. Like Jean Valjean, did he steal a loaf of bread? Was Officer Vallis just serving the crown like Javert when he murdered Kevin that night? Officer Vallis shouted, get down, boy at a 28-year-old man, far from a boy, but not to Officer Vallis, who saw brown skin and instantly thought, boy. He saw a black man running for his life, and all he could think was boy. Officer Vallis was found not to have violated policy and returned to full duty. Officer Vallis's father is a lifelong Democrat and wannabe mayor of Chicago which I suppose should tell you something about the Democratic Party and the position of mayor of Chicago. Thank you. Damn, Eric. So, my goodness, that's a powerful poem. Beautifully done. I, I went ahead and put the, um, the title of the poem. Um, so awesome. And so uh, second, but definitely not less important, is Nicholas Rich Thompson, who is a phenomenal revolution Woo! in his own right. His own right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not a. I'm not a capacity for words today. <laughs> but so such an honor to have Nick here to read a piece for us. Thank you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, again, thank you for having me. Um, I'm gonna read a piece. I wrote this a couple years ago, but it's one of the things that I. I'm always working to to build unity uh, in principled ways. So, and in this time, I think we need to be building unity, and you know. It, I think it's imperative. We we heed the words of George Jackson and he shared with us that, you know, we need to be organizing about the day-to-day -day needs of people and that we don't have the luxury of time, that people who could have been saved are already dying because we haven't been organized. So uh, to take it very critically and take that upon ourselves. This poem is called A Meditation on Allyship. <laughs> if you would call yourself an ally, don't. It is my hope I don't offend, but I unnerve, unsettle, and make you uncomfortable. There has been a mass movement of House Negroes, Uncle Tom sellouts, and an increasing rise in cowardice. The so-called liberal and progressive is complacent in decay, so it's complicit and culpable as a result of their inaction. Claiming the chaos of Russia or China, no mentioning a democracy in the marketplace, the issues Pelosi McConnell, they play us like boo boo the fool, while the ornate activism, performative allyship, alienating alliances, upholds agendas, leaving a revolution in dire straits, which many of us are born in. No choice in it, but I sense sedition afoot, plagued by division and indifference and class reduction. The only answer is abolition. You can't improve the conditions of the slaves, so be wary of the hand that feeds you, but hesitates to free you. 
We free ourselves, fleeing prophetic voices, echoes to prosperity gospels. They sell out, sell you dreams and bridges you can't cross and never provided you the tools to build. Never had no boots for the bootstraps, never no personal responsibility for the corporate crackers, concrete ceilings, attitudes and barriers impede every step. Yet they condemn the individual for the warming planet. They indict you for the pre-existing issues you were summoned here with, never decrying the system, the setup, or the avaricious cupidity and chicanery. Fate is already cruel enough. Why does humanity or the lack thereof work overtime? The colonizer in cahoots with the capitalists wishing to exploit your labor and poison your thoughts motivated by imperial aims. What is freedom? Slave-based economies, avatars of chaos, cosmic telling, searching for the culprit of our agony, an increase in instability and stagnating wages, destitute future, the broken moral compass leads us adrift, functions not flaws of an apocalyptic mode. Coercive laws of competition, exploited people, forsaken generations, what do we leave behind? Rape cultures, missing black women, mourning trans and non-binary people, disregarding humanity once again. What courage it takes to be yourself, connecting over captivity, our shared suffering, the impending doom of existence. Harmonies heard in our cries for freedom, still cast away in silos. Would you be a witness to the destruction of the human soul? I've died many times, observed myself in countless tragedies, so I scream louder with the power, seeking liberation. The last shall be first, the wretched of the earth. What are you doing for the least of these, the forsaken, the forgotten, those fleeced by false flags of freedom, the downtrodden? If you would call yourself an ally, don't. We need accomplices and collaborators like John Brown. If you would call yourself an ally, don't. We need accessories and abettors to our conspiracy. If you would call yourself an ally, don't. We need race and class traders prepared for every front of struggle. Ain't no freedom for a pacifist. If you would call yourself an ally, don't. Pick up your weapon, be it a pen, rifle, or wallet. Put it down. Any illusions of the situation, show up and show me what you're willing to give for the least of these. Thank you. Damn, hot. Damn, that was beautiful. It's just beautiful and just captures this moment so very well. Get up, stand up, keep us traveling on. Don't give up the fight. Yeah.